Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Diamond Pates with Mike here at your service here. And today we have another Timu unboxing. And we've got three items in here, one of which is a diamond painting, and two things, oh no, two things are a diamond painting, and one of which isn't. So let's get into this little package and um, we'll see what we've got in here to show you. So, uh, yeah, we'll get into it as best as we can. These bags are not the best of opening because uh, what they do is they unwrap, the, it's got to be customs that do it, but they unwrap it and then like put sellotape all over it. So it's rather annoying. Um, but anyway, inside here, can you see I've got two little ducks? <laughs> I have these adorable little um, duck key rings. Now, as you may have noticed, um, I was recently watching Liz Harrison Scott Dog Crafts and she unboxed this um, uh, diamond painting of a Brie Marilyn painting and then she really fell in love with the duck painting so I went and got her the duck diamond painting card from Brie Marilyn and just seeing them ducks on that card reminded me of these. So the other day on team I was putting in like ducks and I wanted like something like a duck key ring and I had to get these adorable little ducks. How cute is that? So I'm going to be putting them on my keys. Um, so yeah, they're plastic, but just something like nice, something on your key ring, you know, or as a key ring, if you're going out shopping, you could put your shopping trolley key, uh, key thing on there, you know, where you put that little counter thing in the shopping trolley. That's really lovely quality, and you've got your three little ducks on there, so I had to get them absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so then the next thing I got was, as you know, my love for diamond painting. I got a diamond painting, 20 times 20 again. I'm slowly moving away from 30 times 40s, guys. Um, <laughs> and in here, as you know, um, over the years, I have done basketballs, footballs, and I still need to finish them actually. We sort of drifted away from them and I need to get them back up and sorted again. Um, so I haven't worked on them for ages, but I saw this and I was like, go for the goal. I had to get that. I'm not really a big football fan. I support Manchester United, um, but I wouldn't watch it on TV if you like, only if Man U were playing. I'm not really a big football person. Um, I have gone to the stadiums every now and then, but uh, only the Arsenal one, because my dad invited me to go there. But, uh, yeah, it was an experience. But, um, yeah, anyway, so Bob... Oh, oh look, Bob. Um, <laughs> I don't think we've ever had a coding with the name Bob. Um, but Bob017. We've got 15 um, colours here on the schematic, and it's a really beautiful print. It's like someone's just kicked it up into the air, and you've got that lovely reflection of the ball landing here onto the grass. Really lovely whites and blacks there with that gorgeous trim of um, green there. So I absolutely had to get that. And that will go on my bedroom wall next to my clock, I think. So, yeah. Um, so that was that. We've got our standard boat here. So your standard sort of little boat. And then we'll get into the drills here. Yay. So exciting. It makes me want to sort of like... Um, do it over, like do it off camera, like sitting in the garden with your glass of coke on a nice summery day and just whip away and chat on your garden sort of patio and stuff. But yeah, I don't know. Sometimes when I do a painting on camera, uh, off camera, I regret not doing it on camera and showing you guys. But yeah, I might do that off camera because I quite like that one. We've got some greys there. We have a um purpley sort of browny color there really lovely indeed we got some grays there and another gray and we've got a greeny mushy wasabi pea sort of color there if you don't know what a wasabi is a wasabi is a very hot pea um normally you can find it in a snack um and we've got some gray blues there and that gray i really love that color and i'm tempted to buy it with being q i have been looking at um the uh wall paints there so i do need to have a decorate um so yeah and then we have the um greens here so quite an unusual green i don't think i've ever had that before it's like a seaweedy sort of green we've got that lovely um purple lilac -y sort of color there and we've got a, br uh, a white sandy gray -y sort of white there and a brown so i had to get that now this next thing or the last thing in this bag is something 
that I didn't think they sold. And it is, as you know, my love for dinosaurs. With washi tape, I try to match the painting to the washi tape. So I, if I'm doing like a football painting, I want football washi tape. Well, I came across this. I don't really tend on buying washi tape from Timu because I have seen a few creators that have said it's not very good um, stick wise. But I came across this. It's nice and thick. And look, it's got dinosaurs on it. So you know that dinosaur painting that I've got? Um, I don't know if I've shown you yet, but I've got a dinosaur painting and I thought that is going to be absolutely perfect for that. And that at the time of recording this video, I have got some butterfly washi tape flying over from um, their factory um, as I speak. But that is just perfect. It's probably a little bit too big for your painting, but remember, you do get quite a big uh, width on there. So something like that would feel that quite lovely. Um, especially if it's like a 20 times 20 with my borders I always put the washi tape round and then once I've drilled it I will cut that white uh, white border off I don't keep the washi tape on there it's just purely until the painting's done because all this does is act as like a dust absorber if you put um if you're working on this and you ain't got like washi tape on it you're going to get all this dusty and you've got loads of like uh, dust and stuff on there so that is going to be perfect for my dinosaur tape so yeah we've got some different sort of dinosaurs on there um really really lovely ones so yeah i thought that was quite nice actually and uh nice thick roll on there so that's my little timu haul for this time we've got more timu coming over as i speak including something that includes something for hairdressing yes um i just got to show you this i can't wait to show you and um yeah that's going to be coming um soon but thank you so much for watching our nice little timu haul can't wait to put them on my keys thank you so much for watching take care and have a lovely rest of the day catch you later